welcome to my channel my name is francisca and in today's video i'll be showing you how to make a bustier tube pattern in our next video i'm going to be showing you how to make this bustier tube but we are going to be adding a bra cup to it so you need to stay tuned for that next video if you're watching this one if you're new to my channel welcome please click the subscribe button and click the bell so you get updated when i post new videos and now let's get right into the tutorial I have my lines all drawn out on my pattern paper. Right here is my shoulder. This is the top line. I have my bust line right here. I have my bust point line, my under bust line, and my waist. So this edge of the paper is the center front. If you want to know how to draw these five lines that I've mentioned, one, two, three, four, and five, I have a tutorial on that, on how to draft your basic bodies, so you will know how to draft, you know, these five lines that we have here. Meanwhile, from here to here is my armhole depth. On this line, I marked my shoulder measurement divided by two from the edge of the paper. I did the same thing here on the bust line, and then I connected it to have this straight line that we have here, which is going to serve as our armhole you know line so the last line that i marked this last horizontal line i labeled it my above bust line in order to determine my above bust line i needed to know you know how low or high i want you know the beginning of the tube top to be that's very very important so what i did for mine was to measure four and a half inches away from my shoulder so from my shoulder to that above bust line is four and a half inches so what i'm going to do now is to go ahead and determine my nipple to nipple measurement which is usually from the center front so my nipple to nipple measurement is seven seven divided by two is three and a half so i'll come right here and mark three and a half so i'll be marking three and a half all the way down from my above bust line all the way to my waist then I'll join all of them together with a straight line so the next thing I'm going to do is to you know mark my dart now I'll be taking my under bust dart of one inch you can go with three quarter inches I usually like to go with one inch for my under bust, that's one inch on both sides. But for my waist, I'll be taking three quarter inches on both sides, making a total of one and a half. Then I'll come right here now and mark, this is my bust point line. I'll be marking half an inch below my bust point line. Mark half an inch below. Before I go ahead and connect these dart points together, I'll come right here to my above bust line. I'll be taking that here as well. So I'll be taking one and a half inches towards my armhole line, which is right here. Can you see that? I'll be taking one and a half inches towards that point, and then I'll be taking half an inch towards my center front that we have here. Do we understand? So. I'll place my taper like this, mark one and a half, come right here, mark my half an inch. Now, in order for us to connect this dart point, what I'm going to do is use my curve ruler, which is this. I'm connecting with a curve from this point all the way to half an inch below my bust point, like this. And then I'll connect from here also with a curve to my under bust. So I've connected it like this, then I'll come right here now, do the same thing, connect from here to here, and then connect from here to this part here. Then I'll come right here now, connect from here to here, connect from here to here. So this is what I have after connecting. You can go ahead and fine tune this point. So you don't, you know, end up with a sharp corner right here. So can you see what I'm doing? So just go ahead and fine tune it for yours. And then come right here as well. Just fine tune the curve. 
So can you see what I have? If after fine-tuning the points around here, the next one we're going to do is to add our, you know, horizontal measurement. So my bust measurement divided by four is nine. That's 36 divided by four. Mark nine right here. Come to the under bust. Under bust circumference divided by four, 7.5. So I marked 7.5 here. Then I have two inches that allowance. Mark that two inches right here. Come to my waist, waist measurement divided by 4, 7.5. Can you see? So I mark it and then add my dart allowance of one and a half inches. Mark that as well. So what you can do is to connect from here to here to here. Because by the time you're taking your dart, your bodies will come into shape. Another option which I usually do is to just connect straight from my bust to my waist by the time i connect my waist to my bust i'm going to have sort of like a little bit of the under bust sticking out but i've realized over time that that doesn't really matter because it's usually around a little bit more than a quarter of an inch it doesn't really affect my fitting at the under bust by the time i sew you can go ahead and you know connect from your bust to your under bust to your waist if you have a shape similar to mine and you know you've not really made a bustier pattern before so just go ahead and do that now what i'm going to do is to go ahead and create like a curve for the armhole area so what i'm going to do first of all is to just you know come in at this point by half an inch and then create like a curve to that point now what i'm going to do is to connect from here now I'll connect from here. Can you see what I'm doing? Connect it all the way to this point here. Now you can decide to, you know, leave your bustier top this way. So it's sort of like going to have like a straight top and then, you know, this just comes right down to your armhole area. So if you want to do a sweetheart neckline, that is definitely an option for you. All you need to do is to, you know, come down from this line a little bit. So you can decide to go by one inch, one and a half inch, even as little as half an inch. That is definitely up to you. So what I'm going to do for mine is to mark one inch from this line. So can you see that I've marked one inch and then connect from here now to this point here so i use a curve ruler to do that just go ahead and connect it like this so this will give you sort of like a semi sweetheart neckline so the next thing i'm going to do after all said and done is to go ahead and you know cut our pattern out i'm not adding any allowance to this i'll just indicate on the pattern where to add seam allowances you can go ahead and you know add your seam allowance on your fabric while you are cutting the reason i'm not doing this directly on my fabric is such that if i want to you know use the pattern again instead of starting from scratch i'll just go ahead and use my already made pattern so i'm just going to go ahead and cut this out i'll be following these lines like this can you see cut this out all the way down come right here cut this like this can you see follow the armhole curve and then cut it right back down as well before you go ahead and you know totally cut off your bustier pattern i forgot to mention that please go ahead and measure from this your bust line to this top of the dart right here so if i measure this i have about four and a half inches can you see i have four and a half inches come right here measure the second one the one is usually slightly you know longer than the other so i'll just go ahead and measure that and i have 4.75 inches right here so it means that if i had cut this out totally and sewn it i'll be shortened sort of like on this part right here do you understand so what i'm going to do since this one is longer than this by a quarter of an inch that's 0.25 inches what i'm going to do is to add 0.25 inches to this one so that it will be of the same length do you understand so i'll add 0.25 inches like this following the curve of this dart 
just add it and then what i'm going to do is to connect this to this do you understand so that's how to do it so that you don't get shortened on your fabric while you are sewing so i'll just go ahead and connect this now and then go ahead and you know cut this out so guys for this pattern for this bustier tube pattern i'll be adding half an inch all around the pattern including the side seam so everywhere is going to be having half an inch seam allowance which is indicated by my arrows now here is the center front so this part right here is going to be cut on fold so make sure you label your pattern like this so that you don't make any mistake while you are cutting this out on your fabric so after labeling this now we're going to go ahead and you know move to the back pattern now for the back pattern is going to be starting from this boss line right here the strapless bodice is going to continue like this and then to the side same and then you know move to the back so what i'm going to do is get my pattern paper now and i marked it from the bust so right here is the bust line right here is my under bust and right here is my waist so what i'm going to do now is to go ahead and label this so you guys don't get confused so i'll label this my bust line this is my under this is my bust point line sorry this is my bust point line and right here is my waist so this space that i left here is going to be for my zip allowance so you can decide that you want to add a zip to your bodies or you want to add you know a hook and eye fastener to the back of your bodies that's up to you so i just left you know half an inch for that and i'm going to label this my zip allowance so now that we have this done what i'm going to do is to mark my bust circumference divided by four so my bust circumference divided by four is nine inches so i'll just go ahead and mark nine inches starting from my zip allowance so can you see so i'll go ahead and mark nine inches and then come to my waist mark my waist circumference divided by four which is 7.5 so i'll go ahead and mark 7.5 right here now for the waist i'm going to be adding one inch of that i'm going to come right here now and add that one inch i'm not going to connect this yet because at this stop at my bust line i like to take a little bit of that so i'm not going to connect this yet so the that i usually take for my for the top right here is usually around a quarter of an inch so i'll just come right here i'll be taking a quarter of an inch just mark it. it's just very very little you don't need much at the back because you don't have bust at the back so i can now go ahead and you know connect this please don't mind that we are doing this first we are still going to take our dart at this point the next thing i'm going to do now is to mark my nipple to nipple measurement divided by two and i'm going to be starting from my zipper allowance line right here so mine is seven seven divided by two is 3.5 so i'm going to mark 3.5 here come to my waist mark 3.5 and then i'm going to you know, connect them together with a straight line so what i'm going to do is mark my dart allowance on both sides of this line so i'll come right here mark half an inch on both sides making a total of one inch we took a quarter of an inch at the top here right so I'm going to be marking one eighth of an inch, more like one bar on my tape rule on both sides of this line. So that will sort of like make it a quarter of an inch. By the time you add it together or measure it, you have a quarter of an inch. So what I'm now going to do is to connect it like this. So can you see? By the time I place my curved ruler like this, it's actually connecting everything together right from the top here, you know, all the way to the bottom so i'll just go ahead and do that so can you see it's connecting straight away and then i'll do the same thing for the other side as well just go ahead and connect everything together what i'm going to do after you know connecting our dart is to sort of like do a slant 
towards the center back which is where our zipper allowance is so what i'm going to do is this one inch that i have here is actually enough for me you can decide to you know go down by one and a half inch and what you're going to do is whatever you go down by you're going to be connecting it with a slight curve all the way to the side seam do we understand since from my bust line to my bust point line is one inch you can go ahead and measure that so you guys can see so can you see that? So I have one inch, so there's no need for me to mark that. I'm going to use my curve ruler now. Can you see? Place it like this. And then connect from my side seam here all the way to my zipper allowance line here. So you can decide to leave this straight and, you know, cut out and use. You can decide to, you know, go ahead and curve it out like we just did that is definitely an option for you by the time you create a curve one that leg is going to be longer than the other so this one is definitely longer than this one by just one eighth of an inch which is roughly around one bar on your tape so i'll place it like this mark that one eighth of an inch like this now can you see and then i'll connect it to my zipper allowance line this ensures that by the time you sew you are not shortened on your fabric one side is not looking shorter than the other they are actually you know going to match so guys once we are done with this now i'll go ahead and cut this out we are not adding any seam allowance to our pattern yet we are going to be adding it on our fabric so this is how i'm going to cut it this top curve that i did here I'm going to cut it to the end like this. Come right here, cut out the darts, follow the dart curves, cut it out like this. Cut out my darts on this side, follow it like this. Come right here, cut it out like this, cut it out and then cut the bottom. So I'll just go ahead and cut out my back piece. After cutting out my back piece, this is what I have. So what I'm going to do now is to indicate where I'm going to be adding seam allowances with my arrows. So I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, add my seam allowance here, half an inch all around. So I practically have half an inch seam allowance all around this bustier pattern. So half an inch as well at the side seam, half an inch at the bottom. I used S slash S to indicate where my side seam is. We don't want to be making mistake while we're cutting this so half an inch all around my pattern and i also indicated the side seam for the front pattern so you need to go ahead and do that for yours so by the time we are done cutting our pattern is ready for us to go and you know create a tube top bustier so this is what i have this is the front so i'm just going to connect it in such a way that you see how the front flows into the back so it is sort of going to you know flow like this this is the front come like this can you see that so this is what i have for my tube pattern i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did please give this video a thumbs up subscribe to our channel and turn on the bell so you get updates when i post new videos and i'm going to be seeing you guys in my next tutorial bye